The Mediterranean is pleasant enough, but it's no Atlantis. Our efforts to civilize Egypt have gone quite well, and the Egyptians are slowly adopting our ways. The Phoenicians haven't caused any trouble since Carthage was taught a lesson, and trade is flourishing. But the Greeks! They have proven to be even more primitive than we had first thought. They have continued to rebuff our efforts to introduce them to Atlantean life. Don't they understand that adopting our ways will only make their lives easier? It's too bad about the Greeks, really. Not only are they primitive, they are dim-witted, too. Then there are those horrid centaurs. Thank Atlas that they have decided to leave us alone. Lyxis is doing quite well, and goods are flowing freely into and out of Atlantis. Still, there is a foreboding sense of danger ahead. Many of the traders that have arrived here lately have looked a little peaked, and some of them report that a plague is spreading around the east. The sickness has decimated the populations of many cities, and some cities are functioning only on their most basic levels, barely providing food to their residents. It certainly wouldn't be surprising that illness would break out, especially given the squalid conditions that some of the people around there live in. Well, that particular bridge will be crossed when we come to it. In the meantime, the needs of Lyxis must be addressed. We must continue to be prosperous and productive to serve the needs of Atlantis. Hello guys, mission 6, Plague, Life in the Mediterranean. This is the last mission. We've got three goals. Build a Great Pyramid, get a population of 4,000 people and a yearly profit of 7,500 uh, drachms. On Olympian difficulty, of course, it couldn't be otherwise. Okay, so let's begin with with first things first. Great Pyramid. This can easily be built somewhere. Anywhere. Come on. Come on. I need to find the right place. It is hard to find the right place. Well, it looks like I only have one option. And that option is over here. All right. It should start working on it. Uh, let's try to get Atlas help us. Atlas has this uh, beautiful ability to. I'd love to help you with your construction project. To build your shit, you know. Oh yeah. Basically, when the workers come, they simply start building. No questions asked. Memphis Withers. Now, my question is, guys. We've got a profit, we got the population, so we're doing pretty well. We built a very strong economy in the past. I will try to buy some black marble. Okay. Make sure to put 12 here because you don't want to fill this entire uh, uh, trading port trading pyre with uh, black marble. You want other resources to be sold as well. Uh, yeah, Orchilac will be will be needed as well. So this is for the duration of building this pyramid here. That's all. Economic decline of tire. There are some others uh, we could trade with. I simply don't bother, I need marble, black marble, oh my god, we need a lot of black marble. But it looks like we're getting rid of it very fast, I guess Atlas is, is to blame for this. <laughs> Overall we're doing extremely good guys, we've got 50,000. What could be better than to have your people well fed? We got 50,000 drachms. That's excellent. Good. TB sweeters. What does that mean? Oh, they get destroyed. 
they no longer exist. If they were my trading partners, I'm screwed. <laughs> okay, money come and go. I could make everybody my slave. Guys, did you watch Game of Thrones? I don't want to spoil it for you. But there is a nice quote. Said by Bolton. If you behave like a mad dog, people will see you like a mad dog. Well, it's not that um, smart, <laughs> philosophic, but <laughs> it is well said. Meaning, if I start attacking someone, the other allies will start to question myself. Happiness Monument available. Okay, I need a bit more black marble and I need a lot of or he lack. I'm gonna go to Atlas and I'm gonna pray to for him. Atlas grumbled no to your latest plea. He just helped your artisan a short time ago. Oh thank you, Atlas. You're so kind. What other god can offer you a kraken? Only Poseidon can offer me a Kraken. Syracuse sells less oil. Am I in a short? Am I short on oil? I don't seem to. No, all the oil goes well. I'm selling fleece, that's how I make my money. I need workers and I already pay very high um, very high salary to my guys seed and withers oh my senseless god I hope I'm not trading with this guys Memphis Memphis is gone. Syracuse knows those gates. Syracuse. Wait, Syracuse, wood and bronze. Let's sell marble to Syracuse. Okay, this guy still exists. That's good. Okay, this one. Sidon. Sidon does not exist anymore. So I'll replace that. I can sell sculptures, guys. So, um, <laughs> let's start working on that. Okay, you still trade with me. You still exist. Thank you. You still exist. Okay, you don't exist anymore. Yeah, if they don't trade with me, they have been ruined. Can I sell wine? I would sell wine. I would love to sell wine, but I don't produce wine. Or do I? No, I don't. All I produce is carrots. Carrot! I think that's a name. Oh, mighty god of Atlas. Can you help me? I'd love to help you with your construction project. Love you too, Atlas. 
What other god can offer you a kraken? What could I do with a kraken? He did. No way. Okay, guys. It's coming to an end. Syracuse under attack. Dispatch now. I'll dispatch everything I can. Syracuse will not be defeated. Not while I rule this land. What a feeling. Yeah, now I need ore hillock, guys, and wood. I need all this stuff. <sighs> okay, black marble doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. Gnosis Withers. What other god can offer you a kraken? Cities uh, simply disappear on the map, guys. We live tough times. Now Atlas is all is our only hope. Victorious warriors return. Brilliant. We got lots of armor. I'm selling lots of sculptures. I'm also selling armor. Cartage Witters? What the hell? Okay. That's really weird, guys. Uh, next year, I will ask Atlas to finish this for me as well. You know, to help me a bit more. I'm getting more he lack. Wood, marble I have, so marble is not a problem, but they need to fix the shit which needs or he like and other stuff. Okay, Atlas, my dear. I'd love to help you with your yes. construction project. Yes, 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 yes. Now guys, we will have to use wood, marble, and it's the ore he like. And that's extremely good for us. Zero kiss waiters. That's extremely good for us because... What other uh, god can offer you a kraken? Well, because, guys, um, we produce all those things. Argos rebels. Argos. You dare to rebel? Quell rebellion. Enlist all. Okay now. Hey now. Hey I now. On to your call to arms and go to battle with your men. Yes. Ares is going to fight with me. It's brilliant. This is the last mission from the life in the Mediterranean campaign adventure, whatever you like to call it. The rebellion was quelled. And while there is a rebellion in a town, you, let's say, you own, you own, you, that's your subject, Victorious Warriors Return, uh, you guys, what other god can offer you, you cannot trade with them, and I think my trading with Argos is pretty important, my army is not used for anything, so, it was a good opportunity to lend a hand. And do some good to myself. Okay, it's not next year yet. Is this like the fastest speed? Because it looks really slow. It feels really slow. Will Atlas help me? I'd love to help you with your construction project. Yes! Okay, look at Atlas now. He's brilliant. I no longer have to carry shit ton of stones. 
<sighs> okay, I cannot trade Gnosis anymore. Meaning I produce... Uh, I cannot trade the Syracuse. I cannot trade anyone. We are what we are in other words. God can offer you a Kraken. So the Temple of Atlas is really helpful. I build this shit for free, that's good. But I don't like that I have to wait for my workers a lot. And I'm running out of resources. Trading with a lot of people has been suspended, so I'm about to see my doom, and I don't want to see my doom. I got food, okay, that's very good. Good. Please carry more stone, more shit, more everything. Atlas is there to help you when you are out of resources and myself I had a really big shortage of um, black marble. What could be better than to have your people And I couldn't buy fed. too much from my allies. I could buy only twelve per year and twelve per year is not that much. Happiness monument available. I'm not happy. Who is happy? Oh my god. I'm trying to make a shortage. There's only one town left to pay tribute. <laughs> oh my god. I need to finish the Great Pyramid fast, otherwise I will not be able to make the yearly profit anymore. What could be better than to have your people well fed? Nobody's buying anymore. This far, so it's taking them a while to um, build it. Go 
Gonna make another shortcut. I just hope I can have the yearly profit still. That bastard doesn't want to help me anymore. Oh, but we're getting a lot of marble, guys. That's brilliant. That's a very good sign. I'm also getting more helak. I need or oh, eight pieces of more helak. Okay, it's gonna come to an end. The good thing is that we've got everything we needed. We need a bit more or he like transported here, but look, they bring me or he like from here. Imagine. Atlas, how about you do some good in this world? I'd love to help you with your construction project. Why you make yourself useful? Great pyramid completed, guys. The mission is completed. All goals are done. The plague was much worse than feared, and it decimated many Mediterranean cities. Thank Poseidon, Lyxis escaped any serious harm, as did our homeland on Atlantis. Trade with the East is slowly being re-established, but goods from the East are much harder to come by. Our Eastern trade partners claim that the plague wiped out a large portion of their population, and that they just can't produce as much as they used to. If only these people were more quick to learn, they would be masters of Atlantean efficiency and wouldn't be having these problems. Suspiciously, the Greeks seem to have escaped this plague completely unharmed. They threw themselves upon the mercy of Apollo, and that nursemaid of a god apparently took pity on them. Or perhaps the Greeks escaped the plague through pure dumb luck. That would be typical of them. Still, it will only be a matter of time before we Atlanteans, with our superior culture, whip the Greeks into shape. They cannot resist our beneficial ways forever. Okay, guys. This was it. Last mission. Thank you a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a pure victory here. Yeah. Don't forget that uh, G2 is my official sponsor. If you wish to buy anything from them, there is a link in the description. And use the SHD code for an extra 2% discount. Take care of you now. Bye-bye.